Hi, everyone. So uh, to give you an insight on how it's working, it's quite simple. You basically need uh, two pieces of equipment, a pressure controller and a reservoir. So you need to hook up your pressure controller to a high pressure supply and or or any that can be any gas supply in, in a gas line in the lab or anything or a compressor and then our pressure controller will regulate down these very precise and um stable and uh, this uh, this this pressure down to a very precise and stable output that can be controlled we will then use this controlled gas pressure to pressurize the sealed reservoir where your liquid is stored and the pressure will basically push on the liquid to make it flow through the fluidic system as depicted on the picture on the right here. Um, so there you go. You can also use vacuum. So our controllers also have the ability of handling vacuum. Uh, they actually can handle both pressure and vacuum at the same time. Uh, and to in order to suck liquid and to pull liquid instead of not only pushing it. Um, to go into more detail, now how do you relate pressure to flow rate? Uh, the, the, the relationship between the two is what we call the microfluidic resistance and is basically dependent on the dimensions of the circuit. To give you a quick image of that, basically uh, it's going to be easier to push liquid through a large pipe rather than through a very, very tiny one. Uh, we also, so all our equipment is, is uh, provided and is controlled through our software interface, which allows for the communications of any of our equipment, so our pressure controller, but also, for instance, the flow sensor that Bronforce provides. 